Good evening, Good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Kenneth. Very excited to see many uh, unfamiliar faces first, which means our group is growing. So um, I think the title is a bit uh, misleading. Like some people think that it's really like a hub where you can plug into your PC and you can enumerate your devices. But uh, what it really does is it's uh, like a power hub. The, the whole, the original project I named it like a USB power hub. So just in case you are wondering, uh, all it does is to separate the power. Uh, let me explain further. So, so you must be wondering why do I want to make my own USB hub, right? So I mean, there's no other reason. Right? I mean, there's nothing that you cannot make as a maker, right? And I think another problem I was trying to solve was I wanted I needed a controllable USB port. So most of the USB hubs uh, or ports that you plug into, you directly get power. But I wanted a way to turn on and off the power for various reasons. And uh, the hub has a dual power option as well. You can plug in a normal micro USB, or you can plug in a barrel jet. Then uh, I think this is the second or the third PCB that I'm designing. So um, doing a project like this allows me to gain more experience. And the last one is uh, really what resonates with me. It's way more fun to build one yourself than to buy one. And it's much easier to buy a USB hub uh, in the market than something that you are building. So, yeah. So um, this is how the USB power hub looks like. So you have the DC barrel jack, uh, you have the micro USB uh, input, and you get uh, four ports. So on, on each port, you have a switch controlling IC, so you can uh, control the power on and off, and it tells you when there's a fault as well. So let's say there's a short circuit. You can actually tap one of the pins to your Arduino and you can monitor the port itself. So you know that uh, there's something wrong with your circuitry. And it also has protection. So if there's a short, uh, there will be no power supply. So it's really, uh, like I know it works and I know it's safe. Some of the cheap ones that you buy, you, you will be surprised what they actually have inside. They basically have nothing. <laughs> okay, so I also uh, designed a 3D printed casing. So um, what, I, what I did over here is uh, somewhere in March 2015, I designed the first version. Then I always uh, wanted to do more with the USB hub. But uh, the one, one problem that I faced is I couldn't charge the uh, Apple product because they, they did some stuff on the data line, so I couldn't do the charging. So I went to read up from uh, Adafruit, and Adafruit sells this really um, popular uh, product called the uh, Minty Boost. You guys have seen they place it in the tin can. So, um, so Lady Ada came up with a solution where all you have to do is to put like a 75k and a 50k resistor across the data lines and you will be able to get around two volts on each of the line. Then that would enable you to do the charging. So it sounds pretty simple. So what I did was to go back to the lab, sold up some uh, <laughs> resistors that I could find. I, have a, I think I have a 75k and a 51, that's the closer that I can get. So, and it's really fun when you hack your own design. So, so it looks something like this. So um, when it's idling, you literally uh, use very minimum uh, power. And just to show that it really works, uh, this is an iPhone 4, and we are draw, drawing around 500 milliam. So that's what uh, you are allowed to draw when you have a uh, two volt on the data line. So uh, another feature over here to show that it's working. So you can see that it's uh, charging over here. Okay, so um, that's all for the sharing. Let me show you the actual thing and I'll pass them around. Okay, so um, I have a... Okay, let me open this. So I have a Xiaomi power bank here. I have a voltage and current indicator. Then this is the USB hub and the iPhone 4. So if you look at the, <laughs> if you look at the set over here, the resistors are here on the second port. Okay, so I just... Uh, I'll first power on the USB hub, then I'll plug it in. And we'll see whether it works or not. <laughs> oh, it's Murphy's Law. <laughs> the power bank died. <laughs> Hold on, one second. I've got a power bank here. Oh, 
That's good. Whoa. It's too, too fat. Okay, so um, the power hub is uh, power on now. Let me just plug into the second port. Yeah, so it's charging right now. So I'll pass it around, just don't charge your own device. <laughs> and yeah, just keep the iPhone for there. <laughs> yeah, that's all for my lightning talk. If you guys have never tried a lightning talk, I recommend you to have one and give it a try and share your project with us. <laughs>